Okay, so I'm not doing the in the car thing because it's a thing now. I've been making videos in my car for a little bit of time. So even though this is like YouTube easy mode style, I'm, I'm over that part. I've got more exciting news to share with you. I made a really huge decision. Like, I've just made the hugest decision for the rest of my life, actually. Um, and I'm not, I tend not to be an overdramatic person. Uh, it's just the way that I represent myself, that I present myself, but I'm feeling excited about my uh, really big decision. And uh, I would have made this video at home, but my husband wanted to do some recording in the best recording place in our house is in this little corner bathroom downstairs and he gets really loud. So I came to the park where I like to come anyway when I make some of my important videos and I'm sitting in my car there. So that's why you've got the steering wheel here because it's just the best place to rest my phone at this point in time. I am really excited because I made a humongous decision about my life that I have been hemming and hawing on for a while, that I've been complaining about for a while, that I've been crying about for a while, and that I've been sitting on for a while. And I just decided to take action this morning. I had a long talk with my husband after a couple of days of just being down in the dumps and exhausted and trying to give myself a couple of days to recover from this deep exhaustion from complete work burnout. And okay, I haven't even told you what the decision is yet. <laughs> Um, I decided that I am going to be on the path to retire. I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm going to take forward action, positive action, and start making some plans so that I am going to be done with my career. I don't have a date yet, but I have firmly decided that I've decided does that make sense? I've decided that I'm not going to be thinking about it anymore. I've decided that I am going to do it. It, it is just time. I have worked in my career for 26 years. Now, people say you work for 30 years and then retire. Work till, till you're 65 and then retire. Work until you're 62 and then retire. Make sure you have a million dollars saved before you retire. I but what about how I feel? Like, what about how I feel? I, I think that's way more important because I could work another 10 years and I will have more money saved. I'll have a bigger pension in 10 years. But then I might only have 10 more years left of life. And when I think about that, that makes me really sad. I, I hope to live much longer than to 75. Like my dad is already in his early 80s and he's doing fine. And my maternal grandmother lived until she was 91 um, with like 20 years of like serious health concerns. So I don't have any health issues besides a lot of traumatic stress from work and from being neurodivergent. But I don't have any serious health concerns at 55 years old. So why in the world would I work 10 more years risking ill health and risking the effects of my high stress job for money. I, right now, I'm capable of earning money. I'm capable of side hustles. I've already proven to myself that I can do so much while I'm working full time. So right around the time, two years, I think, before the pandemic started, um, I had started a reselling business while I was working full time. And I was earning like half of my teaching income each month reselling. What does that tell you? I now know so much more about different kind of side hustle opportunities. There are so many opportunities for me to continue to earn money yet not be teaching anymore. And why the heck have I been sitting on this? Well, I did need to wait till I was 55. So like, but I'm there. So why don't I celebrate now? Like celebrate 
that I've made it to 55 and that now I get to make the choice. I get to make the choice. I don't have to continue working. And I understand that I'm privileged because there are some people and some of my friends out there where you are in a place where you, you can't yet retire. I understand. And I am there with you. I want to celebrate the fact that I have a choice. And if I am in good health now, and if I have opportunities to earn money in other ways and make a living for myself to supplement my incoming pension and to continue to care for my family and support my household along with my husband, then why the heck not? Why the heck not? I I wanted to just say that it was because of it. It was in part because of you all on YouTube encouraging me. Some of you encouraged me personally. Some of you encouraged me in the comments. And some of you who might not ever watch this encouraged me just by having channels that talk about retirement. And I'll list those channels in my description if I remember. ADHD brain, I might not remember. But you all encouraged me. You like made me understand that I, I, I get to make that choice and that I, this is something I can do. So let's celebrate. I'm going to work on getting myself retired rather than thinking about waiting until four years from now when I'm turning 60 to then start thinking about retiring. So the relief that I feel right now and the excitement about the opportunity that I feel right now is like beyond, beyond measure. I have so many ideas about the things that I will want to do. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of retirement where I'm just going to like sit back and watch Netflix and sit at the beach and take trips all over the place. No, I still have a very active mind and I want to use it. And I still have ideas for how I want to how I want to serve the community at large and I want to use it. So I, I want to have a reselling business. I enjoyed that immensely. I got to spend time on my own, spending time in thrift stores, taking photographs, uh, packing up sales and taking them to the post office. Oh, that was productive and it was fun and it was time I got to spend by myself. So I want to do that. I want to find a program where I can become a certified life coach of some kind because I still want to serve. I still want to give the parts of me that I've always given. I just can't do it in the institutionalized educational setting any longer. Well, that's a whole other video. So I want to look into getting a certified life coach license and I've got to look and see what that's going to be like. I want to write a book. I want to write an effing book. I've got ideas, not a novel. I'm not interested in storytelling that way. I, I, I might want to write a memoir. I've got so much content from my own life and so much understanding now about how my life, why my life was the way I was and why I chose to live life and why I chose to make the decisions that I chose to make. Oh God, I thought somebody shook my car, but I think it's just my excitement. I shook my own car. <laughs> um, I want to work on writing a book. I want to make digital products. I know how to use Canva. I'm an effing teacher. Of course I know how to use Canva. Of course I know how to teach things. God, there are so many opportunities for me. There's so many things that I can do that don't require me to be stuck in the classroom with bells and pencils and data and testing and contract hours and unions and, oh, it's mind-blowing. All of the stress, phones ringing and doors opening and kids needing the bathroom and kids picking their nose and 
kids who are crying who want to go home and kids who didn't eat breakfast. And I have loved all of the 1,040 children I have taught over the course of my career. I have fond memories of every single one of them, even the ones who wore me down to pieces. You have taught me so many things. But, but, there's so much more I want to do. And I really think I've given all that I can give in that capacity and to those kids right now. My brain and my body and my soul is like thinking about other things for me. There's other things that I want to do. There's other places I want to see. There's other things I want to feel. I don't, I don't want to feel the frustration every day of like not getting stuff done and missing a deadline and, and, and having to talk to so many people every single day and be in the middle of chaos every day. I don't want that anymore. Right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of the park and I just have a view in front of me of trees and a cloudy sky and far off in the distance there's the hills at the other end of the valley and I just want to show that to you so I don't know what you'll be able to see but that's what I'm looking at right now as I'm talking to you and sorry there and that's what I want to be able to open my eyes and see every day I don't want to be stuck in the four walls of a gray room filled with words. Oh my goodness, there are so many words on the wall in my classroom that I'm required to have around me. <laughs> All of the time, words and numbers are swirling around my existence every day. No wonder why I love sitting in the park and just seeing the flow of the green leaves on the trees. Okay. I'm going to figure out what my next steps are. I am working with my therapist who helps me with some of my executive functioning because I struggle with that a lot. Um, and I am going to be a retired elementary school teacher when I grow up. <laughs> Everybody sigh with me. <sighs> and then my YouTube friends, Tracy, and my YouTube friend, Chris, and oh, who else? Who else? If I've forgotten you, I am already sorry. But for right now, I know Tracy and Chris. <laughs> um, then I get to join you in the ranks of retirees in their 50s. Gen Xers who have taken the wheel by the horn? No. Who have taken the bull by the horn? Who have taken the wheel? <laughs> there is a saying, taken the wheel by the something, but taken the bull by the horn, horns and pointed themselves in the direction they want to go. I'll get to stand with you in unity. Okay. It's going to happen. If you've watched this far, please, in the comments, please, I just, I, I want this to be like a grand celebration of my people with me. Please leave in the comments some kind of celebratory emoji and celebrate with me. This is going to happen. And if you're new to my channel and you haven't watched one of my videos before, thank you for watching all the way through. Uh, tell me who you are and uh, subscribe because because this is a place you want to be. I want you with me on my journey and I want to hear what your input is and and I want to know about you too. So uh, join me on my road to retirement. We're going to make this happen. Okay, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to retire. I'm going to do it. I'm really going to do it. I'm really going to do it. This is like one of the biggest decisions that I have made 
uh, yeah, this is a really big one. This joins in the ranks of making the decision to, <laughs> I'm sorry, I thought I was ending the video. I'm not ending the video. Stay another moment or two. This, uh, um, is in the ranks of all of the important decisions I've made in my life. It's not just like, am I going to buy a car or not? Or which car am I going to buy? Or like, am I going to buy 80, 20 ground beef or 85, 15 ground beef? Like this is a big one. This is in line with the decision I made to move out of my parents' house when I was 23. This is aligned with the decision I made to get married three years later. This is aligned with the decision that I made to go back to school and get my teaching credential in the late 1990s. <laughs> this is aligned with the decision that I made to get married the first time. Aligned with the decision that I made to get divorced and live out on my own for the very first time. This kind of feels like that, although that was a bit devastating because I had to leave a marriage to do it. But this is aligned with the decision I made to start my life over again with my now husband of almost 14 years. This is a big one. And I'm so excited to be making it. And I'm saying it to you because like once I put it out there, once I upload this video and it's out there, I've got to start working on it. It's not just an idea in my head anymore. It's going to be real and it's going to be a thing and it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Okay, I'm done. Thanks for listening. Let me know you've been here. Like this video, subscribe and watch this in this video next. Thanks. I love you.